Yo, 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 what's up? It's the Crap Gamer with Crap Gamer Reviews. And you better believe I was waiting to do this video, right? So I'm at work and I get this news that, you know, Mark Cerny did this interview and he's actually officially announcing the PlayStation 5. And I got to say, what he announced and what he talked about in that interview was pretty much on par with what I've been reporting. So I know I get a lot of crap. OK, like I trust me, I, I am well aware that I get a lot of crap when it comes to reporting on PlayStation 5 a lot lately. But I've been hearing a lot of stuff. And guess what? If you go back and look at the things I've been hearing, we now have confirmation to those things. So if you are uh, joining me right now for this video, please like share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I know like there's Xbox fans that are kind of pissy or angry at me right now. Your anger is centered at the wrong person because it really should be at Microsoft, right? Just like when Sony was messing up early in their generation and, and PlayStation fans were mad, they were mad at the wrong people. You know, they were mad at Xbox and Xbox fans. Uh, and I feel like Xbox fans right now are, are mad at the wrong people. They're mad at people that, you know, are, aren't, aren't to blame, to be honest with you. So, uh, basically what I'm trying to point out is the fact that we as Xbox fans, um, kind of have, have to admit that Microsoft dropped the ball. They gave up on this generation. To me, it seems like not only have they given up on this generation, but they have also given up on even talking much about the Xbox console itself. Forza street comes out on PC, but not console. All these games come out on console on PC, but not console on their mobile strategy that they they have going forward. So yeah, I have to admit, my fate has been shaken in Xbox. I know a lot of people believe that Microsoft will come back, and they possibly could, and I think they might have a really good uh, E3, and I think that's possible. And if they do, I'll be the first one to go, hey, you know what? Their E3 killed it. It was amazing. Everybody should be back on board or whatever. I'm not saying I'm off board, but this information, which I'm going to read to you guys now, and this is coming from Mark Cerny, who is the head architect of the PlayStation 5. So we have to remember that he did help create a PS4 that was highly successful and did amazing things for, for Sony. So let's please keep that in mind as we go forward. And I also want to point out that I believe um, that the, you know, the PS5 and the, and the next Xbox Anaconda will probably be similar in specifications, right? Like power, they're both going to do probably like the 4K 60, uh, maybe some push 8K or whatever. And so you're going to have similar. There's not going to be this power issue, right? Where everybody now at the beginning of the generation was like power, power, power. Uh, it's not going to be like that because they're going to be so close, no matter who comes out on the edge. But I do have to say it's going to be interesting because everybody assumed Microsoft would just have the power. And I don't think Sony took that very lightly. How Microsoft came in late and was like, hey, we've got the most powerful. And I also have to say Microsoft never fully took advantage of the power that they had. Uh, with the Xbox One X, we got nothing to really showcase what it could do. And I'm sorry if you feel otherwise, but to me, it's just one of those things that never really, um, you know, uh, that never really materialized. Let's see. Uh, oh, I can see people are already mad or whatever. Yeah, both exactly. Tell our nine, both consoles are going to be, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, similar in, in power and things like that. So it's not going to come down to the power. What's it going to come down to, folks? It's going to come down to the games. It's going to come down to uh, which game, uh, what, which, which console company can have the best content. For me personally, I have to say this. Uh, if, if, in fact, Microsoft and Sony have similar consoles, well, let's just say they have the same exact console, the PS5 with the Anaconda. Let's say they're the same power and they both can do the same things. Uh, I think you still are going to get people to go with PS5. I would go PS5 for multiplats at that point. Reason being because Sony actually treats people like they care about the console business. Let me let me explain that again. Sony talks about consoles. They like consoles. They want console owners. They talk about consoles. They're not afraid to say the word consoles or PlayStation 5, right? Think about that. We live in a world right now or in a gaming world where you have Xbox fans. And guess what? I am an Xbox fan. But you have these these insane Xbox fans that just act like Xbox is doing fine and they're perfect. 
despite the fact that that Sony came out today, stole Xbox's lunch on a day when Microsoft is going to do a, a really crappy inside Xbox and announce a stupid pointless discless Xbox One Sad Edition, right? And you still got Sony coming out with Days Gone, Last of Us Two, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, you're also going to have Death Stranding. That's a killer way to end your your generation. Microsoft is going to end it with the way they started it, another Gears, another Halo. Great, I like those games, but God, you know, change the page once in a while. And more hardware. They're going to announce more hardware today, folks. A Maverick. Yes, no disc. Options, though, I, we'll hear that. And it's more expensive than the one with the disc drive. Only Microsoft could pull off something so great. You know, greatness awaits. And it's with PlayStation, my friends. But anyway, so anyway, I wanted to talk a little about, a bit about... Um, yeah, exactly. Next doc, uh, he says, disregard the idiot Xbox people in here. If we don't constructively criticize Xbox, then nothing will change. Phil is failing us and showing more content to PC, cloud, and mobile. Yes, this just in, folks. This just in. I am hearing that Microsoft is planning to do several PC announcements this E3 to combat this tremendous PlayStation 5 news. No, I mean, look, the funny thing is Microsoft obviously has the most approved where it comes to exclusives, right? So... When it comes to what we're going to be seeing next generation, it's one of those things where we've got to have um, exclusive content. And to be honest with you, I am very excited. About, I'm very excited about what um, <laughs> about what Microsoft has in in terms of some of their new studios. But at the same time, you know what? Uh, it's one of those situations where I feel like Sony has the more tried and true uh, X, uh, IP and games and studios and there's some studios that are very i'm very skeptical of on this on the microsoft side in exile uh compulsion games uh to be to name two that i absolutely have zero faith in them delivering anything worthwhile for us uh and the rest of them seem like they're they're a bit out obsidian we could be you know five eight years away from getting anything exclusive from them uh, ninja theory that's the hopeful one right there playground games another great one uh, initiative, they could be great or they might do a couple indie games. I don't know yet, mm. but I want to talk about this PlayStation five spec leak or not even a leak, but it does confirm several leak stories that I've talked about. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see. What do we got here? I hope Xbox, oh, Xbox needs to drop some bombs. You know what I mean? Uh, well, listen, guys. If you're gonna if you're gonna like me as somebody who who went to bat for Xbox, I'm still going to bat for Xbox, right? If you were like, man, crap was really on board with Xbox. Look at the game. How can people be happy with what Xbox is doing right now when our last few games has been stuff like Crackdown Three, State of Decay Two, Sea of Thieves, which I like Sea of Thieves, right? And it does have more content now. But how can you be content with that and them announcing? you know, six different hardware iterations, but not look over and see Sony announcing games and putting gamers first and console gamers first. Microsoft doesn't even talk about the console anymore. It's everything's PC or mobile or streaming. You know, if that's the, that's not me guys, that's not, I swear. Look, I'm crap gamer. I'm still the guy that likes Xbox. I, ha I think the Xbox one X is great. The problem is Microsoft seems to have switched their focus away from guys like me. And I know a lot of people are like stubborn and don't really believe that. But just look at what they announced, man. Forza, uh, mobile or whatever that is. Uh, it, and it's coming to PC, but not Xbox. Uh, you have Minecraft Dungeons coming to PC, but not Xbox. Gears of War Tactics, PC, but not Xbox. Gears Pop, mobile, but not Xbox. Why is it thing, uh, Age of Empires 4, uh, PC exclusive? Why is it we're okay with these other platforms getting exclusives from Microsoft? But when was the last time we got anything really decent from Microsoft in that way? That's all I'm saying. So if you guys really, really have a problem with it, do you have a problem with me? Or do you have a problem that my words are true and you get angry about it because I'm right? Because I understand that completely. I used to be the same way, right? People would talk bad about Xbox. They were right, but I would get pissed off about it because you know, because they were right. And I didn't like that. So, and I, I realized that, and I want to say thank you to the fans that realize that I'm just being critical of Xbox so that they'll do better. I'm rattling cages. I'm not a big channel,
But I do know that some of the Xbox people have been known to listen to what I have to say. And if enough influencers do this, maybe Microsoft will, or, you know, you still have three months before E3. Maybe Microsoft will actually come out, um, stop sitting on their hands and announce some new IP for a change. Right. Like, I feel like that's what they have to do. And maybe they'll actually be able to do that. And, 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 and that's what the fans want and deserve, right? Why should we have to wait three more years for them to announce something new? We've already waited. Our last new IP was 2015 Sea of Thieves. That was our last AAA new IP uh, announcement, right? 2015, we're in 2019. They have to announce something this year because, like I said, Sony doesn't play around. Everybody's like, Sony's playing nice. Sony's playing nice. Sony is not playing nice. Sony's going after Microsoft's lunch. They're going after their lunch. They announced this today for a reason because inside Xbox is today and they're announcing that stupid sad edition console that nobody's going to care about because it's more expensive than the S and it doesn't have a disc drive despite the fact of it being the same size and it has Game Pass games in it for some reason, but no Game Pass subscription. Like this is a problem. Okay, so don't get mad at me. I didn't turn my back on Xbox. Xbox has been slowly turning their back on me because Phil Spencer believes something different than what core gamers believe. And maybe 15 years from now, his idea will be right. But I live in 2019 in the present. And in the present, Sony are the ones that are showing respect for their console fans, right? They call it a PS PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4. They're doing things for their fans. Microsoft, listen to what they talk about. The last Inside Xbox, they started off with a PC announcement. They xCloud this, more PC stuff, right? I'm telling you, that's what I care about. I don't care. I get that Sony's going to do streaming, and they might put some stuff, but they're always going to have that focus on the, on the console crowd first, right? That's what I care about, right? Show a little bit of respect and, and let people, you know, let people believe in your company give us something to be excited about i have not been excited about an xbox game in a long time even gears okay i i am i love gears i have a big old gears tattoo on my arm you guys know that um i'm just saying you know i need more than that as a gamer nowadays you know i want that other game to get me excited about the platform and i think that's what i'm talking about um dude it's not being able to play the same toys as you guy. You have to think of it this way, okay? Disney just is, is starting their own streaming service. They have their own exclusive content because they want people to, to, to use their streaming service. Microsoft has yet to really announce anything major this generation that's been amazing. And that's a problem too. It has nothing to do with that. Look, we need the competition. We need competition. And Microsoft is not being competition. Look at Steam. How is it? that steam is what was a lot of people were considered killing gaming, right? Because they had no competition and they could set the prices and screw developers. Right. Next thing you know, Epic game store comes out, takes their lunch. And now all of a sudden you got competition. Both are going to have to go back and upgrade and go back and, and offer more content and to get exclusive content. Right. How come Microsoft has it? Did you notice that Microsoft store is still as lackluster as always? And nobody cares about it because Microsoft doesn't know how to play the game. Microsoft doesn't have that killer instinct and it shows with the Xbox. I feel bad for it because we're going to miss the days when we, when Xbox was only behind by 70 million consoles, right? Next gen is going to be far worse because Sony gets it. And Microsoft seemed to do the same stupid mistakes over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, um, you know, it's one of those things. Look, uh, let's see. Miggy says, wait, do we know that the next Xbox gens, the specs? Listen, it doesn't matter. They're both going to do the same thing. What matters is going to be the content. But the problem is Microsoft doesn't have the content. Okay. They don't. Is anybody here lining up for Bard's Tale from NXL? In Exile? I'm, excuse me. Or Wasteland 3? Are you guys excited about that stuff? Or how about four years from now when they come out with an isometric game that's basically PC focused? That that studio purchase was for PC games. I'm telling you right now. Obsidian, I believe that they're doing PC style games too. Compulsion games. Who's really excited by these these developers? There are developers to get excited about that Microsoft has, but their games are so far out, it doesn't really matter when next year Sony's gonna be at E3 announcing Spider-Man 2, God of War, uh, you know, uh they're gonna be announcing Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Uh, another Uncharted, uh, new stuff, right? And Microsoft's going to be too scared 
of their own shadow to announce anything that's more than 18 months out. You guys are going to see that I was right, and you're going to, and I might not even be doing YouTube at that time anymore, but you guys are going to see that, oh, crappy was right, man. He said that Microsoft should have left it all. The, you've got to leave it all in the field this E3. Announce every damn thing in the kitchen sink that you have. Uh, you know, stop talking about PC and st like, Use some other show to talk about that. Use the PC one to show about that or or a different show to talk about xCloud because I'm telling you, Sony might mention something about streaming, but it's going to take about two minutes of their presentation, and that's it. Microsoft is going to focus on this crap, and it's the wrong thing to focus on, and that is a problem. Uh, hold on. Damn Good says, no crap, you're not crap. You're losing your mind, bro. Mark Cerny announces a solid state drive, and Xbox is over. No, no, no. Listen, it's not the solid state drive. Did you not hear... What he's talking about hold on hey guys hit that like button share it out let's get some let's get a bunch of people up in here i'm gonna talk to you guys i'll answer your questions i'm not afraid to to go back and, and debate you guys a bit on this so mark cerny is the lead architect on this system uh there's already studios working on games for this uh sony have accelerated its deployment of dev kits meaning this thing could come out in early 2020 we might even see a march 2020 release of this thing PS5 is going to have AMD's Ryzen line and contains eight cores uh, of the company's new 7 nanometer Zen 2 micro architecture. The GPU, a custom variant of Radeon's Navi family, it's going to support ray tracing, which is something that a lot of people were saying might not even come out next generation. And now we know the PlayStation 5 is going to support ray tracing. Xbox Next will too, probably at least the, the Anaconda will. Mm. The AMD chip also includes a custom unit for 3d audio playstation vr2 is compatible with the new hard or playstation vr the current one is compatible with it playstation vr2 is coming as well it looks like that's going to be a wireless headset a specialized solid state drive to improve loading speeds we'll have some level of support for 8k tvs i'm thinking it's going to be uh upscale 8k and what they're going to do is 4k 60 on most things uh but they did announce also um, you know, they did announce that it's going to be backwards compatible with the PS4. Here's a biggie. They announced it's going to accept physical media, right? They announced it's going to have physical media. So at a time when Microsoft is trying to do away with our physical media with the sad edition, we're getting brand new physical media from the next PlayStation. I think that's fantastic. I think what Microsoft is doing is um trying to gauge how the uh gauge how people want to buy this sad edition the problem is everybody that wants a uh, s console already has it and this thing's already priced uh you know way 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 um you know way way overpriced in my opinion so um you know i i feel like they're that's kind of uh, screwing themselves and so realistically Microsoft is in a really rough spot because they're going to come out and announce this thing today and major Nelson is going to be wearing the white gloves and it's going to be ridiculous. And Sony came out and dropped a bombshell of their own with the first official PlayStation uh, announcements, which I want to say, by the way, I know a lot of you guys are haters and stuff like that of mine. Right. And I think that's fine, but go back and check the videos that I did earlier about these leaks when I was talking about Navi and custom and ray tracing and um 8k and you guys said i was full of it not all of you but a lot of you said i was full of it and now here we have uh a, a situation where i was right <laughs> and it feels good to be right i'm not right all the time but i'm just telling you uh it is nice to be right and i gotta say sony does not need to be at e3 why would they microsoft can't get out of their own way most of the time they're like the three stooges seriously you know i mean honestly look at their look at their show tonight now, obviously they're not going to be able to change inside xbox I, I wouldn't expect them to change inside xbox right like I, I don't see that happening there's not enough time they plan those things out uh what i what i am going to say though is this it's pretty clear that sony <laughs> is toying with microsoft like this entire time right they're toying with microsoft and the reason why they're toying with Microsoft is because Microsoft allows them to. Microsoft doesn't look at them as competition, and Sony looks at Microsoft as their fiercest competition and takes it to them. So on a day where, where Microsoft announced their E3 plans, 
and Inside Xbox is coming with Maverick. Sony just crushed all that by announcing PS5 stuff, right? That is the absolute best way to just slap Microsoft and like like they went up to Microsoft and slapped them right in the mouth and Microsoft is sitting there quivering with a teardrop rolling down their eye because they are absolutely just getting completely played right now. They are getting completely played and it's pretty uh, it's pretty freaking hilarious to me. So the CPU is based on the third generation of AMD's Ryzen line. Uh, it's going to support ray tracing, which is a technique that models the travel of light to simulate complex interactions in 3D environments. Uh, it's also, like I said, it's going to have uh, the storage. So to demonstrate, Cerny, uh, Mark Cerny actually fired up a PS4 Pro playing Spider-Man. Uh, and he worked on alongside Insomniac Games on the TV. Spidey stands in a small plaza. Cerny presses a button on the controller, initiating a fast travel screen. When Spidey reappears in a totally different spot in Manhattan, 15 seconds have elapsed. Then Cerny does the same thing on next-gen dev kit connected to a TV. What took 15 seconds now takes less than one. So the loading times on the PlayStation 5 takes less than one second. What took 15 seconds on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Think about that. That's what I'm talking about. That's next gen stuff right there. Holy crap. I'm all in, baby. I'm getting that PlayStation. Somebody sign me that contract. Somebody give me some PlayStation swag, man. I'm all I'm all in on this PlayStation stuff. I'm telling you. Uh they're going to have those bangers. Uh I'm loving The Last of Us. I've been I've been putting a lot of time in that. Um I'm just telling you like they're not giving me a um a, a civics lesson or a a way of life lesson or telling me who I should vote for or any are giving me a political agenda with their announcements. They're just giving me games and respect to me as a console owner. And goddamn right. I love that. I got to tell you, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be unhappy with me telling the truth. And there's plenty of YouTubers out there. They couldn't hold my nutsack. I can tell you that right now. Just on a just, just right now. Old bragging crap gamer, right? There's a lot of these pro Xbox YouTubers. They don't got what I got. They can't talk in the mic like me. They can't do what I do. Uh, they can't hold carry my jock strap. They probably take a little shots here and there, but I can tell you this at the end of the day, they're going to damage control the hell out of everything Microsoft does, the Maverick, everything that they do. They're going to pretend like State of the K2 is the best thing since sliced bread and that Sony hasn't been walking all over them this entire generation. Well, nuts to that, Microsoft got spanked and repeatedly spanked and didn't even have to pay for it, right? They got that for free. That's what I'm talking about. If you guys want to sit there and let Microsoft roll over and play dead, then that's on you. I chose to go the opposite route and be the bad guy and be the person that Xbox needed. I know you guys may not realize that right now, but I'm telling you, Microsoft needs to hear this constructive criticism. They do. Xbox needs content. They are known as the least effective content creator. Nintendo and Sony are so far ahead of Microsoft in terms of content creation that it looks like Microsoft is last gen right? Their games look like last gen compared to some of these PlayStation exclusives. Their games play like last gen compared to some of these Nintendo, even Nintendo Switch exclusives. Why is it that Breath of the Wild on a Nintendo Switch is such a complete game and masterpiece and Microsoft couldn't pay to get a masterpiece that, that well done? You know what I mean? Why is it this entire generation we got zero exclusive RPGs, right? Like, why did it take them so long to listen? The Xbox One X is great, but it was really their symptomatic problem that we had to pay $500 to fix. They should have known better right from the start. And you got to have content. And I feel like the only reason why they're getting content isn't so much for us console guys that stuck with them tried and true. You know why? It's because they want to sell these games to people on their, put, on their, on their mobile and PC. That's it. I feel like they're going to continue with the Xbox hardware. But the only reason they're continuing with Xbox hardware is because we're the suckers to keep paying for Xbox Live. Think about it. We pay three, what, two point five billion a year in Xbox Live, and I believe the consoles cost like a billion in R and D. So they still make it out yearly. They make more money than they spend to come out with new hardware. So it behooves them to actually continue to make hardware, right? So, you know, listen, I heard people message me. I get like friends, they DM me and they go, crap, what's really the point of getting an Xbox Anaconda next gen? If the PS5 is just as powerful, you can play multiplats there. You can play the exclusives there. If I have a PC and I want to play those couple of exclusives Xbox has, 
Why can't I play him on there? And sure, that's a win for Xbox because they don't care. But at the same time, you know, if Microsoft would have treated their their console fans with a little bit, I'll be honest, I feel lack of respect from Microsoft, right? Maybe you think I deserve it, but I'm not the only one. They don't respect you guys. When do they talk about the Xbox console itself, right? It's like this dirty little word. Oh, Xbox console, guys. Uh-oh, we better not say that. We better say PC or xCloud because you can play your games anywhere you want to go. You know, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Microsoft does not have our interests at their heart. They don't care. Uh, you know what I mean? And so, yes, I am mad. People are going to be unhappy. Uh, maybe some people like this, right? Maybe some people are cool with it. Uh, I could definitely, before anybody starts any kind of nonsense, I could definitely be doing much better <coughs> in terms of um, hits and things like that if I was uh, loving on Xbox and, and saying how great everything was, right? there. Look at those Xbox guys and look at me. Those guys are the ones that are doing the, the, the lying and the BSing and the ones that are telling you Xbox is so great and Microsoft, everything they do is great and they don't ever make any mistakes and Sony can't compete like get real sony is not only competing sony is straight up stealing microsoft's lunch at this time and they're going to steal their shoes so yeah am i am i upset mm, yeah you could say that am i sick of microsoft being too cowardly as a company to announce a new game in five years yeah uh hashtag courage my friends hashtag courage you know what that means even though I'm not an Apple fan, but Mooch will get up here and tell you the same thing. When when Apple took away the headphone jacks, that's courage. You get up there, balls out, and you go, hell yeah, we're taking away your headphone jack. We're doing it, right? Microsoft is like, yeah, I mean, we got games in development, but we can't show them to you unless we're absolutely 100% sure they're going to come out. And then they've only got to come out within the next 12 months and blah, blah, blah. There's so many caveats, like, holy crap. Marvel gives you their damn lineup of movies years in advance. Microsoft won't even give you something 18 months in advance, right? Like, give your gamers something to get excited about. What are you guys excited about this coming out from Microsoft? I know Gears. I'm excited about that too. But what then? Halo, okay. But what new? What new? That's what I'm asking. What new? That's all I'm asking is what new? I would love to know. You know what I mean? And let me know of some Xbox guy that thinks they can hang with me or thinks they, they, they know better than me. I'm telling you, man, I know this stuff. I've been covering this stuff for longer than most of these people who steal my old shtick, right? Let's be real. When I was up there talking about, yeah, go back to flipping burgers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> maybe I need a Southern accent. And then maybe, hey, you go, hey, buddy, uh, maybe maybe it's me. You know, uh, go go back and uh, Xbox is there. Xbox is killing it. We've we've got to totally make Xbox uh, wait for Xbox. We've got to wait for Xbox to come out with exclusives. Uh, we know we know they can do better, but uh, State of Decay Two is the best, and I feel like it's going to be amazing, right? So listen, so listen, I gotta say, for me personally, um, <laughs> I. <laughs> These guys have stole my stick from four years ago, guys. It's nothing new. I've done it all before. They're not doing anything that I haven't done before. I'm telling you, I have my own thoughts and my own opinions. And if it costs me views, if it costs me subs, I'm going to say it because at the end of the day, it's all about how I feel about this stuff. And I refuse to sell out on that behalf. Yes, I still like Xbox and I'm hoping that their E3 kills it. Yes, I'm super excited about the PlayStation 5, you know. Uh, I, I just think that, uh, uh, you know, that, that it's one of those things where Sony gets it. They, they continue to get it, and we wonder why they keep winning. Uh, they treat their console gamers like, like they, they respect them, right? And if you, at the end of the day, if you treat your people like you respect them, then they're going to respect you back. And if I buy a PlayStation 5, even if this thing's 600 bucks, right? I know that Sony's going to crank out a brilliant exclusives, new IP, sequels to amazing games, and they're going to give it to me uh, for sure, 100%, and they're going to continue to support it. Now, tell me this. If you buy an Xbox Anaconda for 600 bucks, are you 100% sure that you're going to get exclusive content aside from Halo, Gears, and Forza? And what? What have they done to prove that you're going to get it? You know? Um, wait, hold on, Matthew Hardwick. I like that uh, that question. Let me let me. So Matthew Hardwick says, "Would you be done with Xbox if they had a shitty three? Well, listen, I think that 
they're going to have a good E3. They have to have um, a good E3, right? Um, it's one of those things where they're forced to do that now. People are going to, people, dude, how many people do you think are going to start questing them, right? 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 So, uh, hold on. Space Jesus says, I agree with you, Space Jesus. The PS5 is going to be more than 10.7 T-flops. The PS5, from what I understand, is 12 to 14 T-flops, and that's what I've been reporting as such. Uh, somebody I know uh, is getting a hold of what's considered to be a roadmap, just like I had the Neo roadmap, and I will be reporting on that as soon as I get a hold of that. But from what I understand, 12 to 14 T-flops, I'm not sure 100% about the memory because they double the memory for the dev kits, which are out to a lot of develop the big developers. One of the friends that I'm friends with uh, is a developer, but he's a medium-sized developer, so he doesn't have one yet. Hey, you guys, hit that like button. I would appreciate it. Um, so listen, you've got to criticize it. I'm not going to not criticize PlayStation either, right? I'm going to criticize them if they mess up. Uh, you know, hey, hey buddy, we, we've got to criticize PlayStation if they mess up too, you know, like smack that like button. Uh, hey, so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna criticize them when, when they need to be criticized and we're gonna give them respect when they respect us, because that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. And for me personally, uh, it's the funny thing, just like this whole YouTube thing. I'm very, I'm friends with very few YouTubers because most of them just talk crap about you behind your back anyway. Right. I mean, there's a handful that I'm friends with, but for the most part, they all just talk crap about you. And then uh, at the end of the day, they steal your shtick that you did four years ago. And, you know, you know what I mean? So for me, I'm just going to do my own thing. And maybe it's not going to be as popular. Maybe people are going to get pissed off. Maybe you don't like it when it, when people keep things real. But I feel like for me personally, I have to be real. I'm more excited about the PlayStation 5 at this point because for one, they're still going to support VR, which I like. And I know most of you don't care about it. That's fine. I do. Okay. So we'll just end it there. And I also care about exclusive content, like the content that takes the most advantage of the hardware. And, and Sony nails that. They do. And I'm loving the game. I'm sorry that I didn't put more time into these exclusives and I kind of rushed through them to get back on my Xbox, right? Because these games, these exclusives are better than the multiplast that we're playing, right? Except if you're an Xbox gamer, then what you're playing on the, the stuff on 360 is better than the stuff we're getting for the most part. Recore, good freaking lord. Recore might be one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. One of the most boring as well. And they love it. They love all oh, Microsoft is high on Recore because the female lead protagonist. I get it. Hey, let's make the Gears 5 protagonist a female too, right? Let's make it Chiefette because that makes sense, right? Like, look there's there's some problems with microsoft and that's that stuff is some of it but the the fact that they're not known for quality exclusives is the main reason that people should be ticked off and, and be requesting more from microsoft uh so i think that's going to be interesting so also the console storage drive is also going to be a little bit more specialized um so that's going to be cool and they confirmed it 100 percent confirmed that uh the ps5 is going to be backwards compatible with the ps4 based on its part on the PS4 architecture. So it's also backwards compatible with games for that console. So that is great news. Uh, a bit of a concession, but hey, check this out. PS4 games look great. I can understand why people maybe don't want to play PS1 games. Uh, those things look real blocky. PS2 games, eh, they, there's some great ones, but for the most part, those look blocky. But once you get up into like the PS3, PS4 era, I think those games look really good. So it makes sense to have backwards compatibility. So I think we're going to continue to see more and more of that from, um, you know, everything else. And as I look over on a day when Microsoft has their inside Xbox, I see the top trends on Twitter, PlayStation 5, PS4 games, the PS5, PS4 Pro, uh, Dreams, PS4, Mark Cerny. Hmm. So, yeah, I got to say, if people want me to uh, <laughs> to do a certain thing for next gen, I can do it. You know, if you want me to, take, you know, um, do some that I can also do this, too. Right. Here we go. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Crap Gamer. I'm here with another video. I got to tell you, Mikey Barra, he's a genius. He, he loves Xbox and Xbox loves him. Crossplay, more like cross godly.
because I'm the man with the plan and I'm so thrilling on the mic. I can out talk anybody if you can stay awake long enough for me to actually talk and discuss things. Yes. Hey, buddy, uh, why don't you guys slap that like button? Uh, go ahead, slap the like button, share it out for me, would you, buds? And uh, we're going to talk about how great State of the K2 is. And, um, and and hopefully, hopefully, we're going to get some real Xbox news going on in here. Uh, if you guys do, I got to get with my buddy because we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing an Eiffel Tower later. And uh, we, we and we want to make sure you guys tune in for that. Uh, so so go ahead and tune in for that. It's going to be great. Uh, but anytime you guys want to have some, uh, uh, anytime you guys want to talk about some some Xbox or some some greatness awaits, let me know. Let me know. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like I said, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very excited uh, <laughs> for this PS5. I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, you know. <laughs> What's funny is, man, I run circles around these guys. They don't even know. You know what I mean? They're still they, a lot of these guys, man, these YouTubers now. And I don't mean to sound like a dick or whatever, but a lot of these YouTubers now, man, they just they're so scripted. Right. Everything I do is off script videos, everything. I, to be honest, I don't have a ton of time to script stuff or do any of that kind of stuff. If I did, I'd be amazing at it. I'm sure because I'm a fucking I'm a I'm a maniac, man. I'm a genius. But uh, yeah. So a lot of people do this. Very few could be off the cuff and, and talk about it and just be entertaining. And hopefully I have been that for you guys. And, uh, you know, you share it out and stick with me because I'm going to be covering E3. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, Microsoft did <laughs> announce some stuff today. They said they're planning their biggest presence ever for Xbox at E3 Sunday. Uh, and they showcase their, their time as well. So E3 is less than two months away. Microsoft shared his plans. Uh, Phil Spencer is going to get out on stage and he's going to do a little dance for us. And, um, he says they're going big this year from our briefing to our fan event, the Xbox experience to the official Xbox gear shop. Wow. He's pimping gear stuff too. Uh, this will be our biggest E3 presence ever. First of all, Microsoft's E3 presence will be on briefing will be on Sunday, June 9th at, uh, looks like 4 PM Eastern. Uh, and just like last year, Microsoft will offer you free stuff. Digital rewards if you watch the event on the company's Mixer service, uh, which is weird because that Mixer locks up so much. So what I usually do is I start it on Mixer and then I watch it on YouTube or something else uh, because Mixer sucks. Uh, during the briefing, you'll have a chance to check out everything from trailers for unannounced titles coming in 2019 and beyond to in-depth looks at previously unannounced games. The company said today, we expect to learn more about Project X Cloud. Woo! Gears 5, woo! Halo Infinite, woo! As well as a new RPG that Forza Horizon developer Playground Games is currently working on, which I am legitimately excited about, and Gears 5 and Halo I'm legitimately excited about. But again, Gears, Halo, Forza, and there used to be Fable mixed in there in the 360, and so finally we're going to get Fable back for the first time. Too bad it'll be for next generation, right? Uh, in addition to the E3 press conference on Sunday, there's also going to be a special Inside Xbox Monday, Hopefully, oh, can't wait to see that, guys. Maybe they'll bring out Julia Hardy, and she'll tell us how we're all misogynist. Uh, June 10th at 3 p.m., uh, which will be 6 p.m. Eastern, Microsoft is teasing exclusive announcements, game demos, interviews, and more. Translations, they've got some indie games that are going to be first on Xbox, and they're all going to suck, and nobody's going to care about them because they're not big bangers. And those are what most people care about. So E3 2019 is going to be open to the public, blah, 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 blah. Xbox Plaza, come watch the show. Come see the show. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's what it looks like, man. It looks like it's going to be one of those things uh, that a lot of people are going to be excited about. I don't know if I'm going to be excited about it, but, uh, you know, it's going to be. It is going to be uh, it is going to be funny to see how that works out. And you know, at the end of the day, look, I've been doing this a long time, guys. I I, I like entertaining you guys. I I realize that um, it's ever changing, and a lot of people are going to be mad that I am talking about PlayStation a lot more. Why shouldn't I? Wouldn't shouldn't people be happy that there's competition to the point where I'm able to talk about the competition and I'm able to sort of get out there and um, you know. Uh, sort of just keep this competition going, right? Like it's, it, it behooves us as gamers. We're the ones 
that pay get that, that actually get something from this because that the competition is the best. If there's no competition, if Microsoft doesn't look at as Sony as competition, then th that screws us as Xbox fans because clearly Sony looks at Microsoft as competition. That's why they came out here and pissed in their Cheerios today, right? Hey, PS5 announcement, and you guys are just announcing some stupid Maverick and Major Nelson bring out his white gloves today. If he brings out the white gloves and you got uh, AC Bongos out there doing a little dance and stuff, like, I don't know. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but at the same time, you know, for me, I, I just want to see the games, man. It's all about the content. That's it. TLR9 says, I like how Sony just randomly dropped major news today about the PS5. No confusing, straightforward, not having to explain 12 other consoles. That's right, TLR9. So you so TLR9, you mean to tell me Sony shouldn't have released a discless PS4 called the PS4G and then five different versions of the PS5 with a streaming PS5 with a PS6 at the same time, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Immortal says, your opinion is subjective. You don't know what Microsoft has at store at E3. You will eat your words. Immortal, go look at my videos. For the past four years, I've said, wait for E3, wait for E3. They're going to announce something new. Immortal, you know how much new stuff they've announced at E3? Nothing. We haven't got a new IP announced at E3 since 2015. That's a problem. That's a problem. Uh, that's all I'm talking about, right? Uh, the rise and fall of Sega. No hatred crap gamer. I prefer Xbox and don't hate PlayStation. That's all I'm saying. I don't hate Xbox. I'm, I'm being rough on Xbox because there's time for them to actually go out there and if they don't have something new, like remember last year they did Xbox XO, right? We all were talking about how they would probably show off a new game, right? A new game would have, would have made it amazing. And they didn't show a new game. It kind of sucked. And Phil Spencer goes, yeah, I heard everybody say we probably should have announced a new game. We'll put that under advisement for next time. Like, dude, he didn't know that we wanted a new game announcement. We were saying we wanted new game announcements right after E3. He said it right after E3. Why wouldn't we have why should we have to wait and keep saying wait till E3, wait till E3? They know they're on Twitter. They're on Twitter. They're on they're everywhere. Rand Outdoor is a Barra's best friend. They all talk. Who's the one telling film company that we don't want new games? I don't know if they're in touch what what Xbox community they're in touch with cuz I know a lot of people are pissed off at me, right? Xbox fans. But I'm the one sitting there saying you guys want and deserve better games and new game announcements. So, yeah, I guess hate me all you want because I want you guys to have game announcements to be excited about and not 20 different console hardware announcements. We've had so many console hardware announcements with the S and the X and the Maverick and two Anacondas and a streaming one, right? More hardware uh, announced in the last three years than new IP by six. It's ridiculous. You guys, like, I'm not down on Xbox because it's easy to hate on Xbox. I'm down on Xbox because Xbox is down on Xbox. They're the ones that make it so easy to talk about this stuff because they're the ones that are screwing up. So, you know, just one of those situations where if you guys don't understand where I'm coming from, then I'm sorry. I'm trying to explain it to uh, you guys as best as I can. So, so I, I did that yesterday as well. I said, uh, hold on. Immortal. He says Microsoft has never vamped up the new studios IPs and confirmed the po power throne next gen at last year's E3. Listen, Microsoft can oh, hold on. Eliminator says Phil needs to go bring back Peter Moore, please. I agree. Uh hold on. Immortal said Immortal, listen, just because they say they're gonna go after power doesn't mean they're gonna have the power. Um, this PS5 uh stuff took a lot of people by surprise. Now I have heard that um that, that the PS5 was going to be very powerful and might be as powerful or a little bit better than the, than the Anaconda. Even if they're equal, right? That still takes away a win from Microsoft because they were banking on the best place to play multiplats again. And this means that they won't have that. And they're also not known for their big exclusives. They have these new studios, true. But which new studio game are you most looking forward to, Immortal? Please tell me, right? Are you looking forward to Bard's Tale? from in exile or are you looking forward to wasteland three or something five years from now when they actually come out with something now with obsidian are you looking forward to uh pillars of eternity dlc which is what they're working on or outer worlds which is a multi-plat or something five years from now when they come out with it new exclusive 
Now, Ninja Theory, they look like they're going to have something new. Is it Hellblade 2? Is that going to be multi-plat since the first one was? Is it something new? Is it double A? Is it triple A? What? <laughs> but that's all I'm saying. I'm not specifically down on Xbox, man. Um, I'm Listen, I'm just saying both are going to be very powerful. Both are going to go after that 4K60. And that's what I, that's my point, right? Uh, and, and I feel like, um, you know, that, that you guys are getting mad at me when you're really just mad at what I'm saying because it's true, right? And I realize maybe not everything comes out the way it, it will end up being, but at the same time, uh, it, it, it's got to it's gotta be sickening to see that we, we spent so much money on multiple Xbox consoles this generation, and we've gotten very few games to show off and none to show off on the X that – you know, in my opinion, that, that are really showcasing what it can do. So I know that, uh, that, that you've got to, that there's got to be a lot of uh, up, upset fans. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to upset the Xbox dudes. I'm trying to keep it real. That's the funny part, right? Is when I made a joke on Twitter and said, Microsoft is planning multiple PC announcements to counter this uh, PS5 announcement by Sony. What's funny about that is it's probably true, right? They're going to talk about PC and streaming. And, you know, and I feel like that's probably the wrong thing. Why don't they respect us as console owners that long supported them through probably the worst uh, generation of that we've ever had to, to experience? Right. So that's that's all I'm saying. Right. Like, I don't think that, um, uh, you know, it, for me personally, anyway, I, like I, I love that Microsoft is has it given up. But I would love it even more if Microsoft would actually fight and if Microsoft would actually go out there and try to uh, <laughs> try to uh, uh, appease and, and respect the fans. Like, I don't feel respected by them at all. And I keep bringing that home, right? Like, I don't feel respected by them. And I'm sorry if, if you guys do, right? But I'm just saying for me personally, the amount of money that I've spent on Xbox consoles and games – and for there to be no new IP announced since 2015, which think of this, the generation started basically in 2014. So we got a year and a couple of months of exclusive announcements and then nothing after that. And we're six years into the cycle. Like, I don't know if you guys are okay with that. Like a wasted generation is what this was. And, and I, there were, there were some good games, some great games, but you certainly didn't really need an Xbox one to play them, you know? Uh, I'm sorry you didn't, you know, you might, you might, you, you can play them best lately on the X within the last year and a half or so, but you certainly didn't need them to play anything exclusive because they didn't really have anything. There wasn't much of anything that was worthwhile, you know? So excuse me for, uh, going where some games were and giving some, some games a second chance, especially at such a dry time, you know, you play through some crackdown or some uh, Lord help us state of decay too. And you can see that, you know, the games just aren't up to par, you know, just aren't up to par. And, 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 and I feel like we are owed better. We deserve better. That's, that's what it comes down to. Just a straight hard facts. You know what I mean? We deserve better. And maybe, maybe we'll see, uh, we'll see them come out and, uh, and actually deliver that. You know what I mean? Uh, TLR nine says another new IP about to drop from Sony in a couple days. You're right. I've been hearing about that too. Um, let's see. Xbox fans have to call Microsoft out. Uh, Jay Barry says, is he trolling? Where have you been, man? Uh, yeah. Black Rose Panther. Yeah, man. I, I, I would unsub too since uh, I'm spitting the truth and you seem to not care or care that Microsoft um, keeps not really caring about what we want as gamers. They're not respecting us as gamers is the problem, right? They, 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 they're not respecting us. That's the main problem I have, right? I'm a console gamer. I don't play on PC. I couldn't give two craps about mobile, right? I'm not going to ever play on X cloud. You know who respects me as a gamer? Sony. They announced a new PlayStation today. They didn't confuse me with 20 different iterations. They're not releasing a discless PS4 pro. They're not releasing 20 different versions of that. They're not saying, oh, we're going to only announce stuff when we're uh, two days away from releasing it. No, they go out there and they get people excited about their content. They get people excited about their hardware. You know, they take some chances. 
single player VR. They're bringing it. Microsoft don't even talk Xbox. Look at the when they talk about it. Do they ever even talk about the Xbox console anymore? Tell me. Do they? They don't. They don't talk about Xbox anymore. Hey, inside Xbox, here's Master Chief Collection on PC, and they're going to get Halo Reach first on PC. We're, we're building Halo Infinite exclusively on PC. It's going to be best on PC with crossplay. Get 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 your game on against people with a mouse and keyboard on PC. What the hell? Age of Empires exclusive on PC. Gears Tactics exclusive on PC. What? Forza, uh, what the hell is that? Forza Night or whatever that, that new stupid racing game. Exclusively on PC and mobile. Everything but Xbox. I don't even want that damn game. But the fact that it's on everything but Xbox tells you all you need to know about where Microsoft's head at. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's just sad, right? Minecraft Dungeons. Hey, a Minecraft uh, a Diablo clone? That sounds like it'd print money if it was exclusive to Xbox, but it's exclusive to PC. So, yeah, excuse me for being a little bit uh, upset and calling out Microsoft for their BS, right? Some of you Xbox guys will see it as me trying to, to get Xbox to do better and be better, and I appreciate that. Some of you guys will get pissed off because Crap Gamer is speaking the truth and you don't like it and you'll get mad and upsub, and I'm sorry. I, I really am. I do not try to do this to get people pissed off, but... At the same time, it does nobody any good if I just pretend to be like those other those other cookie cutter people on YouTube and just go, we gotta wait, we gotta wait, bud. Uh, hey, hey, bud, we, we gotta wait, we, we gotta wait for uh, years, years to come, and 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 years. And, and we're gonna get these exclusives uh, ten years from now, and Xbox will be great, and it, it's uh, we get options, it's, it's consumer friendly, it's great. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not okay. Xbox has screwed us entirely this generation, right? We've got to sit there and demand better. We're the ones that are spending the money for this stuff. You guys don't get it. We're the ones spending money. We are the ones spending money for this stuff. They have to cater to us. It's not the other way around. It's not. It's not the other way around. This is how it's got to be. We demand they show games. They don't show games. We buy the opposite, right? Look what happened this generation, okay? Look what happened this generation. We went out of our way, or not us, but most people bought a PlayStation not because it was so much better or games because they didn't have games at the beginning of the generation. We went out of our or they went out of their way to buy PlayStation 4 to stick it to Microsoft because Microsoft messed up. That's what fans need to do. Microsoft keeps messing up. And they keep putting a focus on stuff that's not us. And we keep letting them get away with it. Stop letting them get away with it. If you want to play great games, buy a PS4. Buy those great exclusives. Support the company that actually is going to uh, respect you as gamers, right? I'm still waiting for my respect. Hell, the head of Xbox threw me under the bus because I was sticking up for consumer rights, right? So Quantum Break gets touted as an exclusive for three years. Four weeks before it releases, they come out and go, hey. It's coming to PC as well. Well, what the hell? I knew people that had PC. They were PC gamers that bought an Xbox One because they thought it was exclusive. I go into Phil Spencer. He throws me under the bus. Uh, let's see. D Webb says, you're a pony at heart who just happened to be born into the Adams family of gaming. Drop the white gloves and the creepy doll before inside Xbox gives you a fresh set of L's tonight. Um, you know, listen. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a gamer, right? I'm just a gamer. Uh, I, I like to entertain. I like to have fun. I don't really, I, I don't dislike anybody in this whole gaming universe. I, I do think it's funny that how, how many people stole my shtick from years ago and use it. I try to be a little bit better than that, uh, basically because, uh, you know, <laughs> because I, I was told by Phil Spencer himself that I was an influencer and that I should be careful uh, because kids watch and because, you know, people really take to heart what I say. So at that particular time, you know, I kind of stopped, um, you know, a lot of the cussing and stuff like that. And, and I really sort of just kind of just went, went, went a different route. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like I'm an entertaining guy. I specifically, uh, 
can, can be that way, you know, at a drop of a dime. I just got in from work and then just started doing this and people seem to be enjoying it. Uh, you know, you guys are liking it and sharing it out and stuff like that. I'm just being critical of Xbox heading into E3 because I feel like they have enough time to rectify that and to actually and to actually get it. Uh, LG Nemesis says, I'd rather be influenced by my dog. I hear you, dude. I hear you, man. Me too, because dogs are great, man. I got Def Jam Bam in here. I've got um, uh, Van Damage saying, crap gamer and influencer. Yeah, man, believe it or not. Uh, Wicked Edge says, the PlayStation has won next gen already with the announced PS4 backwards compatibility. Uh, yeah, they're, they're doing great. Uh, crap, what do you make uh, of Cerny's? Uh, hold on, what did I miss? Uh, crap, what do you make of Cerny saying they are pioneers of streaming and they'll announce more towards launch? I think they're going to continue doing uh, PlayStation Now. And they're going to be, you, any game you own digitally on PlayStation, you'll be able to play on, um, you know, you'll be able to play those games on mobile and stuff. They're going to do some of the same stuff Microsoft is doing, but you know what? They're not going to do it ad nauseum where they shove it down your throat and treat you like your console scum, right? I feel like when you buy an Xbox shirt from Microsoft, it should say Xbox console scum because they make you feel like scum, right? Oh, you want an exclusive? You want exclusive reasons to like your console? What's wrong with you? Hey, boy. Hey, buddy. You you like you 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 like you you want exclusives? Like hey hey pal, buddy, buddy. What what do you want exclusives for? That's not consumer friendly. We we knew that there was no exclusive. That's not consumer friendly here, bud. You gotta you gotta slap the like button. Consumer friend. That's not the way. Even Sony is gonna be this way, right? Like, look. We, I don't care about the consumer friendly stuff. Give us a reason. Give us three week exclusivity. Give us something to get excited about. That's all I'm asking for. Something. Okay. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. Um, Turok says Xbox lost at launch aimed for casuals to maximize profits and increase window sales. You're not, uh, you're not wrong. My friend Luca says crap has 500 people here on a random Tuesday. Oh, they're in here. They're seeing crap gamer go old school. They're seeing Crap Gamer be entertaining. They're seeing Crap Gamer probably do and say a lot of things that he probably shouldn't say. Uh, Yobo1245 says, Crap, I know you dislike PC, but you should really give it a second chance. You can hook it up to your TV and not hunch over your desk. Listen, that might be an option for me. Depending on what Microsoft does with their next-gen Xboxes, what would be the need of getting an Xbox? I might even not even need to do that because the X might be forward compatible, and that might be something that uh, I'm able to do it. Um why you always say Sony wins and Xbox wins? Just stop. Okay, Limitless Wolf, I appreciate your concern. But listen, Sony has the games. They have the mind share. You gotta, you gotta, that's not fanboyism. Look, all around the world, Sony and PlayStation, that's the mind share. That's what people care about. People think PlayStation, they think great exclusive games, great hardware, a company that's always going to give 110% and respect the hell out of their gamers, right? With Microsoft, what do we get? We got a company that's worth $700 billion that literally stopped developing games for their machine into a generation. They literally stopped. They canceled everything they had. Literally stopped. Tell me what. $700, million, $700 billion company stopped developing games partway into a generation because they screwed up themselves, right? They were the ones that failed to get what people wanted. They could have did anything. They could have asked people on social media. They could have did surveys. Hey, do you want to not own your games? Do you want to have a 24-hour check-in period? Do you want? Do you not want used games? Do you want Connect connected and forced to buy it? Do you want that? Do you want a $500 console for a less powerful console than the competition? Right? I can guarantee you they could have learned something by asking people that, right? Like, that's what I feel like they could have done. And I feel like that's, um, you know, exactly what they failed to do and they're and they, they're falling into that same kind of pattern right uh th they're going out of their way to not listen to what fans want we want games we deserve games and damn it uh, i feel like we are are going to get those games uh by force you know we we've got to get go out there and, and sort of um and, and let it be known as influencers and as fans that it's unacceptable for them to go through another e3 and not offer something new. No new IP since 2015. I'm sorry. It's wrong. Uh, TLR9 says Sony cares about console gamers. That's 100% right. Look, Sony's going to do a lot of the same stuff Microsoft does. 100%. 100%. They're going to do a lot of the same stuff. So they're going to stream. They might put some stuff. I doubt they do stuff day and date. 
at least not for a while. They'll always give their console owners some reason to buy it, buy the console and buy their games on the console first and foremost. So for me personally, I think that's what it's going to come down to. Uh, what's up, Gadang? He says, I still love my Connect. I use it every day. I hear you, Gadang. Sully, I love you, man, but you love State of Decay too. So I'm not sure that I can trust your input on this, my friend. Um, <clears throat> let's see. But, 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 Connect. Uh, Jay Barry says, crap, walking on thin ice. You know, Xbox guys won't like your change. Podcast members will be upset. Dude, I don't even hardly have podcast members. It's me, Mooch, uh, Foxy, uh, and uh, I think Shady. That's it. I don't, you know, <laughs> basically, I, I, you know, and, and I love those guys, man. And I hope that everybody's going to continue to, uh, hey, I like Sea of Thieves, and I still like Sea of Thieves, uh, Brandon. The problem is I've already played that game so much and they did. And they, what ruined Sea of Thieves for me was the cross play. And I know that's fixed now and you don't need it, but the hackers on PC ruined that for me, ruined it, ruined it. You know, uh, Johnny can says, are you happy about PS five specs? I am absolutely thrilled with those PS five specs. Absolutely thrilled. I love it. I think that that's going to put pressure on Microsoft. Microsoft is probably worried right now. They thought they had the power crown. They don't. Uh, I feel like Sony might actually even have it or it might be tied. Uh, Next Doc says, bro, we need to party up or something. I've called in a few times to MNC. Remember, pissed off with Doc. That's me, dude. You need one more objective Xbox fans. These dudes need to wake up. Hey, man, for sure. I'm going to, uh, I'll probably have to recruit a little bit more people, right? Um, and, and as for people leave, look, people come and go. I hate that, that, that people get mad at my opinion especially since I've given what four five, six years of my life to various Xbox podcasts and how many positive Xbox videos hyping up direct X 12 or, or great games. Microsoft started off this generation very well with games and then they've, and they've done some good things. Elite controller Xbox live is great. I think game pass is great for people, but the reason why game pass isn't going to be a killer app anytime soon is because they don't have any killer apps in there. So, uh, rate, rate the emperor says crap going pony, like Hogan turning NWO. Uh, I've used that analogy a little bit. I do like wrestling. Um, I wouldn't say I'm turning. It depends. One heel turn is a face turn to PlayStation fans. Right. You know, I was like this hardcore. I, I think I've won corporate slave award at one point for Xbox. Right. Like it's so funny how things kind of turn around, but look, I've always tried to just you know, and, and you can only take so much as a fan. You keep seeing them do these same stupid mistakes, right? And I'm just looking around like, oh my gosh, what's Microsoft thinking? What are they thinking? You know, I just want Microsoft to go back and give us a reason to to play on the console, to, to buy a console, to get excited. Like I said, I'm not excited about anything, um, you know, um, lately. Let's see. Uh, damn good says, Hey, listen, and, and I, I'm not afraid to, to read your comments either. If you don't agree with me, uh, damn good says, sorry, crap, no offense. But if I ever listened to you, bro, I think I would have been probably went nuts by now. Let's play games. No corporations. Like my friend Foxy UK loves to say, listen, um, dude, I, this is, this is the thing. Okay. It's not corporations. It's competition. Okay. It's competition and there is no competition. That's the problem. Microsoft is about as much competition as, uh, you know, uh, a roly poly right now, right? There's no competition. Ash and Lucas says, I can't wait for you and Shady to argue Wednesday. You know what, Luca? I, Shady can't make the show uh, Wednesday. If you want to sit in, let me know. I would love it. Uh, Element Pino says, can the game industry have to compete? Could it be Sony and Nintendo World? I hope not. You know, um, listen, <laughs> I would hope that you guys stick around. Xbox could kill it at E3, and I'll be like, hell yeah, that was great. I'm still going to get a PS5. I'm still going to get an Anaconda. I, you know, I'm just saying, how can you not look at what Microsoft's offered lately and and been, and then look at my, what Sony's offering and just see a stark contrast? We're getting a new IP that looks really good in, what, a week's time? Days gone on the Sony side. And, one of the, and like I said, the last new IP we got from Microsoft was Sea of Thieves. So, yeah. It is a little bit uh it is a little bit upset. Yeah, Def Jam Bam, he says if someone can't respect your opinion, then oh well, you can't please everyone. Listen, I get it, man. Like if I wanted to just be like everybody else, 
Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. Guys, listen. Listen. So you got to smack the like button. And then what you got to do is give Phil Spencer a bit of a, you know, a, a reverse sabi dob. And, and then what you got to do is a double blue jay with a uh, upside down haymaker. And, and, and nothing Microsoft does is bad. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing Microsoft does is bad. Okay. They give us great stuff. Options. Crackdown 3, greatest game of all time. Okay. Greatest game of all time. Let, let me let me state the greatest game of all time. Crackdown three. It's it's great. It's state of the K two. Better than the first one. So great. My aim. Who cares? Microsoft didn't put uh, dedicated servers on it. Who cares? Right. Looked like a PS two game. Who cares? Eh. So uh, for <laughs> so so what I'm saying is you know it, realistically disappointment and Xbox have been synonymous this entire generation. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I I think that it's uh, <laughs> that it's funny and and you know what I loved I loved the uh, I, I love the competition between Microsoft and, and Sony because there is no competition until Microsoft decides to step up and actually uh, grow set and 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 push it uh, the way that they I know that they can okay so I feel like they really have to get out there and push uh, what they what they have for fans and they have to really be pushed by Sony. And hopefully they can actually do that because we're getting screwed over a little bit right now. And, and I got to admit, we can sit there and go, well, they've got all these new studios. I'm not impressed with all those new studios. I, I like some of them, but um, I'm not impressed with uh, In Exile or uh, Compulsion Games. And I feel like the rest of them are so far away that we, who knows? Like, does it even matter? Does it even matter? So dual purpose, as I told y'all, Madbox will replace Xbox. <laughs> hey, I'm looking to sign that deal, man. Get me somebody with some money. Get me a PS5. I'm good, man. I'm I'll, I'll be all up in there, man. I'll be I'll be PlayStation Nation. We'll do PlayStation Nation every Wednesday night, uh, and we'll have uh, we'll have a bot. We'll have an X bot, quote unquote, on the show every week, just so that we can uh, make make it more even. We'll be like Fox News fair and balanced we'll have like four playstation dudes and one xbot and then we'll be like uh it'll just be funny so so what are you guys playing to this week well we're playing another halo halo 28 what are you guys playing well you know like sony came out with this brand new adventure game and plus uh a new uncharted and um horizon zero dawn 2 and spider-man 2 and uh this and that and what do you guys got next month well we've got forza motorsport 27 great you know cool cool awesome awesome TLR nine, uh, eh, eh, okay. Uh, let's see. Evil Grace, as you know, what is your problem? Crap, your content does not match your titles. You speak to listen. I like to have fun with my titles. Okay, I try to change it up sometimes, but I try to be inventive with it and and joke around. And that's my own thing. Anybody can parrot the news and be like, I could give you a perfect example of what. And I have not seen what other YouTubers are doing. Sony announces PlayStation 5 specs. It's a beast of a machine. Holy cow. Mark Cerny says it, right? Like, I like to have fun with this stuff, man. If people don't like it, then I guess that's on them. But I like to have fun with it. I, I'm goofy. I'm a loud mouth. I probably hold my tongue too much, but I probably talk too much. If I actually w didn't hold my tongue, who knows what would happen because I would be all over the place. Um Turok says some aliens kidnapped the real crap, replaced him with the clone. No, you know, I just, um, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, hey, by the way, you guys add me on PlayStation 4 while we're at it. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> crap gamer, that's my name. I didn't even have to change it. Who cares about, uh, I I'm looking to game more on PS4. Uh, crap gamer, that's the name. Yeah, just, just one word. So, yeah, I got the I got the name that I want to see. But yeah, uh, you know, and again, I'm not abandoning an Xbox. I'm just saying this makes things much more interesting. It proves that Sony didn't need an E3 to compete with Microsoft because they overshadow Microsoft with an announcement like this. Um just like that, okay? Just like snap of the fingers, right? They just outshadowed everything Microsoft announced E3 related today. Everything Microsoft will announce in inside Xbox. It's all over. Uh, Neverland says, I'm a full Sony pony, but crap gamer, you're definitely one of the most entertaining podcasters to listen to. Listen, it's because uh, it's it's all unscripted and just fun, like off the top of your head stuff. Anybody can script stuff and just kind of be schmarmy um, and edit and, and that kind of stuff. I hustle and, and work 
and and put in so much time and effort on this stuff and so many people just abandon you at the first time you you give any kind of criticism and i guess that's the way life goes i'm not upset by that i just wish that people would be a little bit more like me okay i admit this i have blocked so many people for for just having an opinion on playstation early in the generation and i'm about to unblock everybody on twitter and i'm starting fresh so keep that in mind um from now on, man, opinions are welcome, man. I love, like, I've actually come to really love the different opinions that everybody has. They're, okay, you could be a jerk, and if you try to get personal, you'll get blocked. But if you just have a game and opinion, man, rack that up, because I want to hear that game and opinion. I want to get out there, and and let's talk about it, because that's what's fun about it, right? PS5 is a day one, 100%. Um, Crap Gamer, did you find Nichols' comment about Stadia lacking content disturbing? Yes, I made a comment about that. Um, hold on. Elemental Pino says Sony still has nothing to show at E3. Are we still ignoring this fact? No, you're right. Sony has nothing to show at E3, but they they don't need to show anything because they have such a lead. They just announced the PS5 today, and it's very powerful. And they stole a lot of Microsoft's thunder, and they could hold another one of those inside Sony or State of Plays and announce the Last of Us 2 release date. That could still come out this year and surprise people. So I feel like they still have a way to surprise people and they don't have to do it the way that everybody assumes. You know what I mean? Um, crap. Can you, uh, who's MBG? I don't know who that is. Maybe tell them to get in touch with me and I'll be happy to, uh, team up with somebody. You know what I mean? Maybe we can talk about stuff. I don't know. Um, Trey bird says eight K seems questionable. Uh, listen, I think it's eight K upscale. So, yeah, I think that that's uh, something that, uh, yeah, Jay Barry says, yep, you blocked me for infamous. I'm going to kick you in the shin if I know. Yeah, I'll unblock you, man. I'm going to unblock everybody on my Twitter and then just take it like that. You know what I mean? Like, who? Ca it's just opinions. Keep it non-personal and we're good to go. Uh, you know, look, everybody makes mistakes. I probably was team Xbox, like 100% go, go, go. Way, and now I'm just looking back like this generation's over. And I have six console announcements or whatever, five console and very little content to really pay off. Like Game Pass does me no good. I, I admit it's a great thing for people. But for me, Game Pass is mediocre Xbox exclusives and a bunch of old games that I'm not interested in anyway. Or games that I already have, right? Tomb Raider, I bought that day one. Why would I wait to see if a game goes in Game Pass? If I really want to play it, I'm going to buy it and support the in industry as much as I can. Uh, Xbox One 4K says Stadia is irrelevant. I'd rather get a PS5. Exactly. Um, I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, Steve says, hello, crap from Greece. Thank you. True Gamer is here. Um, Zero Death says, I'm not completely well-versed in Sony exclusive titles, but how many of these are multiplayer? I haven't bought PlayStation online because, well, listen, that's a fair thing, okay? If I have a big criticism of Sony, and it looks like they're fixing this because they uh, Guerrilla Games is has two teams, and one of them might be working on a new multiplayer title, uh, and, and, and the other team is working on Horizon Zero Dawn 2. They said they want to do more multiplayer games, and they need to. Microsoft needs to do more single-player games, and I don't know if they are. Like They're going to have single-player elements in Halo and Gears and stuff, and hopefully Fable, but... I think their focus is like the multiplayer stuff because that's where they really make uh, Mark Kelly. No, dude, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I, uh, I, I I'm not real sure who that is. I don't listen to a lot of uh, uh, now. I know who that is. TLR nine. He says uh, red dragon. I know who that is, uh, but I don't, I mean, he maybe would come on the show. I don't know. Well, he used to be an Xbox fan. Okay. Well, listen, Here's the thing, guys. I can't blame somebody for switching right now, right? We still got a year and a half of these consoles. If you haven't played a PlayStation the entire generation, there's a ton of great games on there. If you haven't played an Xbox this entire generation, you're not missing much, to be honest with you. Uh, Sunset Overdrive was was good. There's some Hori Forza Horizon games um, that were pretty good. Yeah, I mean... But other than that, you didn't. Oh, okay. So I didn't finish my thought about the Nichols content despite. Yeah. So the one of the heads of Xbox marketing was commenting about Stadia's lack of content, which I found to be ironic because Microsoft lacks content. And he was basically, I don't know if he was talking about third party support as well, but I just found it funny that he would even bring up lack of content as a reason why people won't go and use Stadia. Um, 
because Microsoft hasn't had content in years and they need even more content. Let's be real. They need even more studios. They need four or five, six more studios. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, they continue to do that. So, uh, you know, definitely going to definitely gonna be uh, one of those things that I, oh yeah, listen to this. I get, I got an option for, uh, from Kratos, uh, PSVR and PS5 was to straw exactly, uh, go in the, go in the PS5, man. I'm, I'm waiting to sign my contract, man. Somebody want to hook me up with that PS5. Cause I, you know, I'm, I'm probably broke, but yeah, man, I, I I'm, I'm all in it, man. Let's, let's, let's play some PS4 together. Let's play. Some, let's see some of that greatness and, uh, see what's up with that, man. Like, listen, if there's a good game on Xbox, I'm there. If, if there's a good game on PlayStation, I'm there. If there's a good game on Switch, I'm there. Um, I'm I'm tired of being kind of this biased, one-sided guy, to be honest with you. If, um, if Microsoft gets their head out of their butts and starts respecting me, then I can start going back and respecting them. But you've got to respect me to get that respect back, and I feel like Microsoft doesn't respect me. And I know a lot of you guys might not agree with that or, or be upset by that, but um, just my opinion, I just feel like, they don't uh, respect me as a gamer, as a fan that has 800 games on their consoles and who owns multiple. I've bought uh, so many different Xbox consoles this generation, including that abomination uh, VCR box that came with Connect uh, that, that the hard drive broke uh, a year and a half later. So, you know, <laughs> excuse me for, for being a little bit salty. Uh, but, but yeah, you know, I'm, if they announce some good games, man, I'm going to play them and I'll be excited to play them. But for the most part, uh, I'm, I'm excited about what the future of gaming is. And the PlayStation five looks incredible from what we're hearing. And they're actually out there confirming stuff, not confusing me, right? Not confusing you guys, right? Uh, King player says, welcome. Uh, wait, hold on. Dark Saint says, but, but, but black desert online, man. I don't even know what that is, man. No, I, I know what it is, but, um, Let's see. <laughs> what games can you play with the other PlayStation gamers together? Oh, dude. I mean, I play I play Call of Duty and you know Apex and all that kind of stuff. You know, multiplats and stuff like that. The crap gamer is salty. Actually, yeah, a little bit, man. Uh, Rich of Cucumber says, "Hey, crap! How much will the PS5 be? I'm gonna suspect 500 bucks, right? I think they're gonna be 500 bucks. I think they'll take a loss on that at the beginning." just to get people out there, which by the way, please hit the like button, share it out. Um, I would appreciate it. So yeah. Um, subscribe. If you haven't already, if you're a PlayStation guy, Hey man, do me a favor, subscribe. I'm going to do a days gone review. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. I might start doing some more PSVR reviews too. I don't think those are going to be big view getters, but I think that, you know, some people might appreciate it. So that's all I care about anymore. Like I used to back in the day, man, years ago, it was like, I used to really care about like people if people would watch. Now I put stuff out. I don't check it. You know, I just release it. If it's fun, if I have a good time talking about it, then that's that's all I care about. Uh, I actually like PlayStation VR. You can probably see that I'm passionate when I talk about it. So, hey, one view, a hundred views, it's all good. I do I do have a ton of PSVR games that I've played through. Really looking forward to that. Um, do you think we should have seen we should uh, have seen this PC mobile shift coming as Microsoft is a computer software company? Yeah, I mean, some people called it. I think Showstopper called it years ago. Um, the problem is, I'm fine with that stuff, but why not at least come out and let us uh, at least treat us with respect? You can still do that stuff and treat us with respect, right? Look, Sony is announcing they're doing streaming. Uh, they're going to continue to do that, but they still treat the console owners like number one and the most respected, right? Like that, like to me as an Italian guy, especially like, damn, show some respect. You know what I mean? Um, Gadang says, I did the same too. Bought my day one Xbox with connect two terabyte Xbox one S day one and day one X. I might keep my X upgrade my PC and get a PS five. I hear you. I hear you. Hello, man. Opino says, why is days gone embargo a day before launch? Um, sometimes they do that with new IP. It could be it could be average. I don't know. It looked good to me. It's a new IP, so it's worth the risk, in my opinion. Um, I got the collector's edition. I love collector's edition. It's only Microsoft doesn't do those anymore. Yeah, put some respect on Xbox's name. 
Westdot, you might have just put it the best way I've ever I've ever heard it said. Microsoft scammed the f out of us this gen. All hardware, no software. You're right. Uh, Jimmy Equid says, "Crap, how could you betray it? Betray us, guys? I didn't betray you guys. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I didn't betray you guys. Microsoft are the ones that let all of us down. Okay, I was the one that's out there trying to." Get better, get game announcements for us. I've talked to Phil multiple times. I know people want to just act like he hates me. I've corresponded with Phil multiple times and was like, "Hey, you know, you got to get some, uh, you, you got to get some, uh, some, some, some studios before last E3." I was like, "You know, you guys should announce some studios." I swear. Uh, and 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 people that uh, have seen these correspondence, I told Phil, I was like, "You know, you guys should maybe." And I'm not saying that he locked up Playground Games because of me. But I did mention Playground Games as a, as a studio that they should lock down and it would get the fans excited and things like that. And to his credit, they did do that. The problem is he's so afraid to show off any content that you never know what you're going to get from the guy, right? Like, we never know what we're going to get or when we're going to get it. It's ridiculous. And I think that's a bit of a problem. You can't always, like, look, if I come out with a video and it bombs and it sucks and nobody watches it, is that going to make me afraid to release a new video? No. I'm going to release a new video anyway. Okay. I get it. Fable got canceled. Scalebound got canceled. A crackdown three sucked and shouldn't have been announced when it was announced. Okay. Get over it. Games get canceled all the time in this industry. Who cares? It's a running joke for a little bit. Announce some things. You know, I don't think that's asking too much. If people get mad at me because I'm asking Microsoft to announce new IP for the first time in four years, then I don't know what to say. That's ridiculous. If they're mad at me because I keep talking about it, it's because if you only talk about it a little bit, then it gets brushed under the rug because everybody else, all these other YouTubers won't talk about it, right? Because it comes down to dollars and cents, okay? And they won't talk about it because they're afraid they'll lose subs. I've lost a ton of subs. I don't, you know, it's one of those things. It happens, right? But I'd rather have some, some dignity and some self-respect and, and try to go out there and, and go out the way that I have to go out because we need games. We don't need another controller. We don't need, uh, you know, more indies uh, every two. You know what I'm saying? This is the stuff we don't need more PC game, uh, you know, poor PC announcements or mobile announcements. Like, we need Xbox console announcements, right? PC is Xbox and Xbox is PC, but only when we're talking about Xbox games because other way around and it doesn't work. It's a one-way street. It's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. Absolutely. Completely ridiculous. So, yeah, I get a little bit mad. Sorry, I, I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> a little bit upset. Uh, do you guys think, hold on, 4K Blu-ray player will be standard for PS5? I don't know. I think if 4K or 8K, you might be right. Uh, Xbox One. Reason why is because they have confirmed a physical disc. They have confirmed that. So, um, Gears is awesome. Yep, I, I I like Gears and Halo. The problem is, I like Gears and Halo ten years ago, fifteen years ago, right? So, uh, when will they release Crackdown Three multiplayer with friends? TLR Nine. Good point. Good point. The power of the cloud, right? We're believing in it. We're believers, but you can't even team up with your friends. Oh. Rich of Cucumber says, which one will be more powerful, PS5 or Xbox Anaconda? I am thinking it's going to be close. I think it's possible that the PS5 is going to outdo them with 14 T-flops of power. 14 T-flops of power. That's what it's going to be. Um, 4K Blu-rays are actually dying. They have less than 10. Per well, I mean, look, people should still have the option. Hey, look, they took out the 4K Blu-ray player of the sad edition on the Xbox One S, and it's only going to drop the price 20 bucks. So, uh, Midway Monster says, clarify, Microsoft let you down. I'm still playing great games, third party or not. I'm waiting patiently for my personal choice. As you will see, can see, crap is what you have done for me lately, gamer. No. Midway Monster, I am, uh, this entire generation is not lately, my friend. If you think this entire generation is lately, then I'm sorry, okay? Uh, if you're happy with the third, I'm happy with the multiplats too. 
but shouldn't we get something specifically tailored to the Xbox One X that we just bought, right? We bought another $500 system, and there's not a single game that really takes to, takes uh, advantage of it. Uh, you say Gears and Halo is so 10 years ago, but what about all these remasters and Charted God of Wars? Hey, I'm not a big remastered fan, you know? Uh, Elemental Opino says Microsoft will now give up the power crown ever again. Hey, I hope you're right, but it's going to take games, my friends, right? Like, I, can we all agree that, right? No matter what, e no matter who has the power crown next generation, doesn't it come down to the content? I like, I would hope that for everybody here, it's all coming down to the content. You know, that's what it comes down to. We got to have content. We've got to have, uh, the games man they've got to prove that they can win us over with these games if they don't then i don't know what to say you know like i feel like we need that content we need that microsoft has the most to prove in that area right like that's just the truth they have the most to prove in that area and until they prove that they can consistently release great content game pass is going to be a joke for me personally maybe not you I'm speaking for a lot of times too i'm speaking for myself if i'm what i'm saying that you don't agree with that's okay don't you don't have to unsub and be pissed off at me, right? We can have a disagreement on opinions because you're rarely going to find people that are going to share the same opinion with, with you on every single thing. I'm just saying for me, Game Pass is kind of a joke when they're putting 58 Metacritic games in there and Sony's putting out $60 bangers that are that are winning game of the year. That puts no pressure at all on Sony to do something similar, right? It just doesn't. So what we see is um you know, just just a, a situation where that's no pressure or threat on Sony or Nintendo because their games continually um, actually go out and and perform well and sell you know really well. Like they all sell like 10 million uh, copies or whatever. That's a tremendous amount of of uh, games. So you know, I'm just saying, I I find it to be very very frustrating when Microsoft refuses to talk about the future in terms of games. They'll talk about. Hey, let me ask you guys this while you guys are here. Why is it that Microsoft is so adamant about not talking about uh, games coming out, but they'll talk about hardware that's coming out at the drop of a hat, right? Hell, this box, streaming box, uh, Maverick, Anaconda, Scarlet. Uh, you know what I mean? We've got seven boxes. We, oh, what games you got? Well, we've got Gears and Halo. Uh, we, we'll share more at a later date. Like They're so quick to be open and honest about their hardware coming, but why not the games? Why not? Holy crap. Mm. Um, let's see. Midway Monster says Xbox had to reset. That's why they bought all these studios, even when a couple had multiplats ready for release. E3 announcements were the beginning of their consistency. Hey, I hope so, Midway. That's better for all gamers, right? If, if these studios can put out games. The problem is, Midway... We know what these studios are working on, and a couple of these studios are mid-tier at best. And I'm talking about Compulsion Games and In Exile. Those studios probably won't come out with anything great because Microsoft isn't exactly forcing them to do anything. So I would expect more of the same from what they're doing, isometric-style games or whatever. Um, Compulsion did We Happy Few, which is okay, but nothing great. And they did a game called Contrast, which is like a side-scrolling game. Uh, State of Decay developer is going to make more State of Decay. That's not exactly... I mean, we know what these companies are making. So uh, the pulpit says, we know every game Sony is working on too. Well, do we though? I mean, they have a secret studio. They have other studios. I just think that what they're doing... Um, uh, Jay Fonzarelli says, it sucks when you first figure out how great Sony's exclusives are. Crap, this is what many of us have been trying to tell Xbox dudes like you for years. Listen, I'm hard-headed, man. I'm Italian. I um, I had this... Well, first of all, I was getting attacked early on because I, I had picked Xbox over PlayStation. I picked Xbox at first because of the games. They had more exclusives at launch. Within that first year, I was really, really happy. Within the first few years, I was really, really happy. I like the Xbox One X. It's great to play multi-plats in 4K. Um, I like that evolution. I just feel like their games feel like last gen to me, and sometimes worse. Right? Like, why do they feel? Why do they look and feel so bad in comparison to other games? Right? Like, just it's bad. The quality is bad. So. Uh, Elemental Pino says Sony announces new hardware, no content so far, not enough. I agree, dude. But here's the thing: 
we're getting lots of leaks around Sony software now, though. So we do know that they're going to be doing stuff like Spider-Man 2, another God of War, uh, another Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we know that they still have The Last of Us 2 and um, that they have a new studio that's building new Uncharted. So we know that they have stuff coming, Death Stranding, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. They've got a lot of stuff coming, guys. It just really comes down to uh, they're good. They'll announce it. That's the thing about Sony. They'll get people hype about their stuff. That's that's what I like about Sony, right? They'll announce stuff, um, and uh, and and it's uh, and and I love that, right? Like it gets you really excited. At first, you're like, "Man, they're announcing stuff too early." But then, when you look on the when you live on that other side where you got dust balls floating around because they aren't announcing anything, and you're 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 in the desert, and you're holding your throat, crawling around, and games are are the are, are a drink of water. We would have all like died long ago. Wait, trying to find that water, my friends. That water, there's a name. It's called PlayStation <laughs> Greatness. I'm telling you guys, you play some of those games and you'll see what I'm talking about. The quality, right? The quality is so good compared to what Microsoft is putting out. And I do believe Microsoft will put out some quality games. But why is it the only games they invested in this entire generation was Gears, Forza, and Halo? The only games they put any money into. I don't know. It's a shame. And then the other games, they never gave another chance to. Quantum Break, Sunset Overdrive could have been great with sequels. They were good, could have been great with sequels, but no, they decided not to uh, continue on with those. So, you know, I am very, very disappointed with uh, some of the stuff that's happened right there. So um, Game Pass is going to make Xbox quantity over quality. Exactly. I mean, that could be a real problem. So, you know. Um, Ruad says, crap, you have admitted that PS4 had better exclusive and surpassed Microsoft Xbox's gen. What is your next console choice? <coughs> I get everything you guys. Um, I get a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm going to buy that. If they, if Microsoft gives me a reason to get an Anaconda, I'll get one. If I can just play Halo Infinite on my X, I'll play it on that. You know, I'm sure it'll be cross gen. It'll be cross play with, uh, smart feet, smart shoes and smart watches and, uh, smart bottles of water, uh, you know what I mean? Smart sunglasses. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they'll, uh, they'll, they'll have it cross play with all that kind of stuff. And I know <laughs> I, I wish that I would be able to do a reaction because it would probably be pretty damn funny to inside Xbox today. Cause I got a feeling it's going to be crap. It's going to be horrible. Um, you know, but I won't be able to do a, a do one until tomorrow. But it's still still gonna be funny. I'm gonna watch, and if Major Nelson breaks out the gloves, I might not be able to stop myself from laughing. Here's the Xbox One Sad Edition. Oh, here we go. Let's don't get it dusty because it has no disc drive, and you know what I mean. Like, oh god, it's so cheesy. I just I don't know. You know, like it's it's just one of those things that kind of irks me um, as a fan or whatever. But I, you know, I it's it, like I've had a such a good time here talking with you guys. You guys all seem really great too. You know what I mean? uh pretty pretty welcome and stuff like that uh you doing another i wish i could do another live stream after inside xbox but i got plans with my fiance um um marcus grimes says i still don't understand why people are upset that you could play games not just on xbox play where you want to play marcus here's the thing console gamers want to play on their console they want a game they want to know they want a reason to get excited about those consoles right like i don't care most people most people for the most part like don't care about playing a game on a phone or uh, while taking a dump or doing all this, right? They want to play games. They want games announced for their console. Like, that's cool. You can play it everywhere you want to go, but give us something. Give us some games for our consoles. Treat console gamers with respect. The theme of this whole show that I've done today is respect. Sony comes out, announces a new console, right? They respect their gamers. They respect their fans, okay? They, they respect you. I love that. I feel respected. I'm holding my head up high today. They, they treated us with respect. They didn't confuse us with a ton of bullshit BS. Excuse me. Right. They respected us. They're they, as gamers. They put us first. The console guys. We're not scum to them. You know, it's not. Oh, well, we don't want to come out with exclusives or exclude anyone. Like, are you kidding me? We're buying your $500 hardware. Give us a reason. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Show some respect. You do inside Xbox and you kick it off with PC. 
you talk about X Cloud and 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 streaming, and your the last four games you've announced have been PC exclusive or mobile, and none for the Xbox. Like, come on, that's a lack of respect, you guys. It's not me, it's them. They're the ones that are not respecting you, and I'm the one that's woke and telling you guys as an Xbox fan or somebody that's been all over Xbox this entire generation, they're they're screwing you guys over. They're fooling us all. They're biding their time. We bought how many how many consoles have you bought from them this generation? And you might be happy playing the multiplats. And if you are, God bless. I think that's great. But how many exclusives have you got? Have they ever built something specifically for the console? When I go and play a PlayStation exclusive on my PS4, they look better than anything I see on the Xbox One X because they take advantage of the hardware. Microsoft never will take advantage of the hardware because they're too busy trying to be the jack of all trades and they didn't master any. They should have mastered the console. They should have did it for us. They should have listened to what the fans wanted. And instead, they were too busy trying to make money and too busy trying to, um, you know, get to those 2 billion gamers. That's all they care about. 2 billion. Who cares about the potential of 200 million, right? They want that casual 2 billion that aren't going to buy but one game and nobody cares about it. So, yeah, you know, I get a little bit pissy, but you can't sit there and listen to what I'm saying right now with the inflection and just just me being brutally honest on the microphone with you guys and say that it's not coming from the bottom of my heart. There's nothing written out in front of me. That's how I feel about it, okay? Like Microsoft, a $700 billion company, couldn't have bought us an exclusive at any point over the last three or four years. They bought Gears of War on the 360 right? They couldn't have bought us something. They couldn't have got us some exclusive content. Jeez. You know what I mean? Hell, Control has exclusive missions on PS4. Sony knows how to do it. Now, that's a archaic practice, but it's business. Their console owners feel number one, man. You feel number one, right? When you're a PlayStation gamer, no wonder they're so happy, right? I used to wonder why PlayStation fans are so happy. I know why they're so happy. Because they feel like number one. Sony treats them like they're number one. <laughs> they're the national champion. They're the Super Bowl champs. When you're a PlayStation gamer, you feel like Tom Brady and the Patriots. You walking around with six rings, baby. Why? Because you get treated with respect. You, you know you're going to get that quality of those games. With Microsoft, you don't even know if they're going to support the damn console from one year to the next. We went three years where they canceled games and didn't come out with anything. Right? It was like the only thing they came out with was a Forza and Halo Wars. Come on. That's all I'm saying, man. I can't keep it any more real than that, to be honest with you guys. So, you know, Lady Foxfire says, can't wait for PlayStation Nation on Wednesday. You're not wrong. <laughs> but look, I had an intention not to do this either. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll back off the the, a little bit, but basically since Sony came out and just totally stole uh, Microsoft's lunch today, eh, I had to talk about it, right? I mean, that's what I do as a YouTuber. I talk about uh, Xbox and, and, and gaming stuff, and, and so far, you know what? Sony has come out there, and they're killing it, man. They're doing a really good job, I got to say. Um, if you were to ask me, if you were to ask me, crap, which one should I get if I can only get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Anaconda next gen? And I would say this. Well, do you have an Xbox One X right now? And if the answer is yes, I would say get a PS5. Why? Because Sony's going to come out with some bangers. Um, they're going to have inventive stuff like VR, and you're going to be able to play the Xbox games on a PC or your Xbox One X anyway. So that's that's how I feel about it. Sony will run away with the next gen uh console crown they're gonna it's not even gonna be close they'll be at 20 million console sales before xbox can even reach five and uh it's it's all but based on the content it's content 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 sony has it sony treats you like gold i don't even care sony could put their games on pc and stream i don't care because they got the great content to back it up and they make you feel they make console owners feel legit good i gotta be honest like as a playstation fan they do these sales all the time. Like I've been picking up more third party stuff all the time. Wow. You know, they do so much like Microsoft to do their sales like a couple times a year. Sony does these surprise sales like once a month and you can pick up these games for like two, three, four, five bucks. 
It's like, man, they respect the hell out of you. You know, how about the, the PlayStation Plus games? Do we even need to talk about that? Since Game Pass came out, Microsoft puts all the good games in there and we get uh, uh, Bo Diddley Jr. Uh, and, uh, you know, a to and, uh, you know, that damn alien game. What the hell is it? Uh, E.T. Remastered. We get nothing on games with gold anymore. We get absolutely nothing. And we're the ones paying 60 bucks a year while PC dudes get our, our lunch. Right. Like PC dudes and sitting there laughing at us like, holy crap. You know, we, we don't even got to pay for Xbox Live and we get to play all your games and they build them specifically for us. Like, we're the suckers. Why? Why? Like, come on, man. It's just, uh, it's got to be, uh, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. And, and for me, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people are going to be pissed off about this and it just kind of is what it is. Um, exactly. Sony won't shove it down your throat either. TLR9 says, uh, only time will tell who will be the winner PS5 or Xbox 2. No, I'm, I'm telling you right now, David, PlayStation 5 is going to win. They have the worldwide uh, audience, the mind share, the games. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's going to be huge. They're going to win. Um, uh, let's see. No, um, Marcus, I'm not the one that has that. There's other YouTubers that have that. Uh, Next Doc says, crap, if they respected us and they would, uh, Xbox Live parody, Xbox is PC and PC is Xbox, right? Hypocrites. Exactly. Consumers are, look, they're consumer friendly. They, they tout that. Everybody will say that. All the positive Xbox YouTubers. Oh, Microsoft so consumer friendly. So consumer friendly, right? Well, guess what? How is it consumer friendly to basically make you charge, uh, charge you money to play free-to-play games? They're the only ones to do that. The only reason why they want crossplay is because it makes them look good. I don't want crossplay. Most people I know don't want crossplay. I don't want to play against people on an iPad or a PC. I don't want that. You know? So, yeah. It's like, you know, kind of is what it is. Uh, hit that like button, share it out, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, Captain Thug Nasty says, Sounds like crap knows the PS5 and Anaconda are not going to be that far apart in power, and exclusive games are going to be the vital going forward. It doesn't look good for Xbox. Exactly my point. If you like Gears, Forza, and Halo, you're good with Xbox. If you want something new and you like single player elements and not games with a service and, um, you know, then I think you're going to be happy with the PlayStation five. Uh, if you can get both, I always suggest that I'll probably get both. Uh, but Microsoft needs to sell me on, uh, what they're doing. Any others? I'll answer a few more questions. Uh, let's see. You don't play free to play. Not true. I've played some apex. Uh, I played a little bit of Fortnite. How much T flops do you think the PS five will have 12 to 14 is what, what I've heard. I want to play gears five on my new sunglasses, dude. I want to play gears five on my vitamin water bottle. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, well, Microsoft needs to give Xbox fans a reason to get excited, a week exclusivity, uh, exclusive content for a month, something. We don't get shit. We don't get crap. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. We get nothing. Cool. We got the last Jedi marketing rights or that Jedi game marketing rights. You know what that means to us? Nothing. They show an Xbox logo at the end of it. Are we getting exclusive content? Are we getting exclusive missions? No and no. We get nothing. So, yeah, it's like a big congratulations to us, you know? So, hey, if you guys want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. You guys, uh, you know, look, it's all <laughs> it's all really just comes down to what, what the fans want, and that's what it should always be. And if, and if you're a fan, you owe it to yourself to go out there and really let these companies know what we want. So... You know, we need we need to let Microsoft know it's not too late. Show something. I don't care. Remember Shang Heist, uh, 2013 E3. They went up there and showed the Coalition's game. They weren't the Coalition. They were Black Tusk Studios. It looks sort of like Splinter Cell or whatever. And um, that got people excited. It's just a little teaser. Show us something. Get us excited about this stuff. That's that's what it comes down to, you know. So, yeah, I feel like we deserve that. And Microsoft owes us that much anyway. So 
Um, with that being said, I am not, it, it, you can't like, don't label me an Xbox guy place. I'm a gamer. Um, I'm going to keep it real with Xbox. Unlike, bef- you know, <laughs> you've got to, you've got to criticize where you see fit, man. The games just aren't adding up. The quality's not there. So hopefully they fix it and I'll be like, hell yeah, they fixed it. But so far I haven't seen anything that shows me that they care enough and respect us enough. And that's a problem. You know, that that's a problem. Um, it should be a problem to you guys too, but I understand people are going to be pissed off. So, uh, any other questions? I'll answer a couple more before I got to go. Well, look, Phil says Xbox in the way that I think Xbox was going to be sold off. And so he did manage to save Xbox, but who's Xbox? It's not mine. Yeah, they canceled Shanghai. It's true. Xbox is acquiring more studios. That's true too. But are they going to be studios that are working on multiplats? Or are they going to be studios that are going to be ready to kick out some exclusives? Ill D says, hey, crap, you should also blame the Xbox players. They should have supported it more, in my opinion. Yes, the games all should be supported. Um, Microsoft needs a Marvel game. I would love for to see them get a Marvel game, but apparently only Sony and Nintendo can pony up that dough. Um, what do I think the specs for the Anaconda are going to be? I think I've heard they're going to have similar specs to the PS5. Uh, to be honest with you, these PS5 specs took me a little bit by surprise, even though I'd been reporting rumors of them recently, which by the way, so many people called me out saying I was lying about these rumors and they turned out to be true. And now because I can't reveal who people are that are telling me stuff. And so people think I'm lying. And now we see that my Sony announced them them themselves. So I was right again. And those people will quietly just Homer Simpson back into the bushes. Right. Um, I love that by the way. Like when I came out and said the Xbox one X would be, or the Scorpio would be the Xbox one X and everybody said I was full of it. And then two months later, they announced it as the Xbox one X and everybody was like, huh, nobody ever apologized or said, Oh crap was right. Or crap's right. You know, just, uh, kind of funny. Uh, crap says E3 2018. If they don't end the show with the new IP, I'm booing them. I'm booing them with you, bro. Uh, Xbox needs a DC game. I would love it. Why is Xbox Microsoft so cheap? I don't know. Eight, seven hundred billion dollar company is cheap, super cheap, man. Never seen anything like it. Um, Anaconda needs to be more powerful. If not, they're going to get made fun of. Here's the thing: I think they're going to be so close that they're not going to make fun of them. So we'll have to see. If you like Xbox games, just get a decent PC. Hey, you could be right. Or the Xbox One X will probably still be pretty good at playing them, better than most PCs anyway. Um. Nintendo Switch guys. I don't know who that is. I'm going to have to look that guy up or tell him to message me or something. Uh, Remedy is not being bought by Sony. Nobody would be smart not to buy Remedy because Remedy kind of sucks. They come out with these games that are okay, but it takes them too long to develop them, and then they don't sell very well. So, uh, Yeah, you know, look, I'm still going to be covering Xbox. I'm still going to be covering PlayStation. We're gonna, I'm going to be doing all-day E3 coverage. Uh, I'm going to be talking about inside Xbox tomorrow. Unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to do that tonight. Um, maybe Microsoft want mobile gamers. What's your opinion on that? You can get mobile gamers without sacrificing your console gamers and making them feel like crap. I think that, you know, like why not get people to go out there and, uh, and get excited. Talk about your console for a change. So Rise is a good game, but it's a low-rated game, and Microsoft never greenlit a studio or greenlit a sequel. You know, they should have paid for a sequel and and given them time. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do Inside Xbox, but I can't do it till tomorrow. I've got plans tonight. Exactly. Dan- Dennis, this was never an Xbox channel. It was a gaming channel. I felt like I wanted to even the odds a little bit because it seemed like everything was against Xbox, and I genuinely enjoyed Xbox, especially that first year. Xbox was far better than PlayStation. <clears throat> Once Sony got on track, though, holy crap. I mean, this if this was one of those, uh, what, high school or little league games of baseball, they would have called it to, to the uh, slaughter rule, 10-run rule, right? They were so far up ahead of Xbox. It's crazy. Um, well, listen, Thomas, Sony doesn't need games at E3. 
They announced the PS5 randomly today, and it's totally over on the news everywhere. You know? Do I think the PS? I think the PS5 controller is going to be much like the PS4, but probably have a better um, battery life. Uh, answer a couple more, and then I got to go. Um, if Sony say to exchange your X with the PS5, will you do it? Crap. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, Ild says I hear people complain about Forza Streets, and I get it, but from what I saw, the game ain't good. Listen, Ild, here's the thing, and I think I talked to you on Twitter about this. It's not the fact that that we want to play Forza Street. It's the fact that this game was announced on PC and not Xbox, right? That's the problem I have, right? I'm tired of them announcing games on uh, <laughs> on, on PC and mobile and not Xbox. Why is Xbox games all on PC but not the other way around? That's my problem. It's like we pay Xbox Live, you know? So I don't know. Just it, it that that bothers me, and it should bother you guys. Just honestly. Um, how come Bloodborne isn't exclusive? I don't know. It's on PC. It's still console exclusive, and it still didn't come to PC till way later. So here's the thing: as a gamer, I didn't care that Cuphead is going to the Switch a year later, right? I don't care if game, but, but they still come to the platform first and that's respect for your platform holders, right? That's respect. That's what I care about. Um, really appreciate everybody that came out today. Uh, I got a lot off my chest, obviously had a little fun, no harm intended to anybody that might've thought I was making fun of people just kind of doing my own thing, having fun. Um, you know, just want to say, I appreciate you guys' support. If you're new to the channel, please like. Uh, things are changing. Share it out. Subscribe. All that kind of good stuff. I appreciate you guys' support. Appreciate it. Peace out. Peace and love. Rack them up. Peace.